Hi, welcome to my next video. I am getting kind of a late start again today. I still don't feel real good. I don't feel 100%. Let's put it that way. I feel better than I did yesterday, but not 100%. Um, I am headed up to, uh, I've changed my plans yet again. I'm headed up to Julesburg, Colorado and going to travel south and pick up the Gold Rush Byway from there, then into Deadwood. The heat wave finally broke today. It is, it's hot, but it is not 104, 105. It is a little, a little better. Anyway, um, I checked the weather in South Dakota and it is considerably better. Um, I mean, there are going to be days when it's in 90 or in the 90s, but nothing like 105. Anyway, so I'm getting ready to leave this little Sinclair truck stop that I'm at. And I'm going to map it and head to Julesburg, Colorado. And, and then hopefully the uh, Gold Rush Byway. I will be back with you guys a little bit later. Oh, I also wanted to add that um, it is very, dry. I guess it's dry here. I noticed yesterday that my eyes are getting dry. Um, I know that because I'm starting to see kind of like halos, which I did when my eyes got very dry last year. Also, my lips are really super dry. Uh, skin is just peeling. Uh, and it just turned up like practically overnight. Uh, I like scratch my lip it started bleeding I put some like Vaseline on them to try to you know stop it um, anyway um, just wanted to add that is very dry here my eyes are dry my lips are dry uh, I guess my skin not so much because I, I, I use lotion body lotions and things of that nature every day and sunscreen of course anyway um, I'm headed on up to Colorado I will be back later Okay, I'm here in Murdo, South Dakota, and I got onto the uh, on ramp to head to I 90 West and toward my final destination in Colorado. I know I won't make it tonight. I get off, I pull onto the ramp, and I realize that I missed this big thing atop the Pioneer Auto. I've already I already did a whole video on downtown. And a whole video there at the Pine, not a whole video at Pioneer Auto, but a video. And opted not to pay the $13 to go in, not, not today anyway. I may come back tomorrow, depending on how far I get. But anyway, this is sitting out front of Super 8. I missed it. Anyway, just wanted to get out and show you this old car. Atop that, let me see. I can zoom a little bit further wow I can zoom all the way in anyway so there we go there we go anyway and of course the pilot is across the street um, I stopped here to um, to do this you can also see the back side of Pioneer Auto from the on-ramp to the interstate and then, of course, the big sign that says American RV Park, which is actually the American Inn. Anyway, I there's a bunch of these little things here, and I wasn't able to... Basically, couldn't squeeze... There's not a lot of room on this on-ramp, so I basically couldn't squeeze my car, or I didn't feel like I could squeeze my car in between these. So, or I didn't want to, maybe. I mean, I get, there looks to be enough room I could have. I just didn't. Anyway, so I ended up parking my car way, 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 way down there. And walking back, walking back up here to get this uh, video. And, of course, um, I've already done a video of around the Pioneer Auto, if... Uh, the man inside said there's 42 buildings, so I didn't have time. 13 bucks. Don't really have time to, in an hour's time or hour and a half, I knew I wouldn't have time to tour the whole, uh, the whole place. So I decided against it. I will, if I'm lucky, I, I'll be back maybe tomorrow and I can do it tomorrow. 
and if I'm not I'm not you know that's the way it, it is I said this in another video that's the way it is anyway so now I'm all the way back out here and of course there's the interstate anyway here is some stuff he's got at the back something very old and then there's something else partly obscured by a tree it's getting late um anyway i'm headed toward i won't make it to colorado tonight not even close in fact i have 62 miles to drive to get to south dakota 79 or some 79 i believe it is that i'm going to take to that'll take me to Julesburg, Colorado and from Julesburg, Colorado I will I'm not sure which route I'm taking then but I think it's 385 let me let me let me rephrase yes that'll be uh, US Highway 385 I'll take that south that'll bring me into um, um, I'm assuming it'll bring me back into Nebraska because I'm gonna pick up the Gold Rush Highway or Gold Rush Byway and anyway and you can see a little bit of that out there my phone just dropped um if i don't end this video i will lose it so i will be back with you guys a little bit later okay so i got off here at exit 170 um it is uh 1880 town um, as you can see across the street, it's connected to a Conoco station. It is closed, obviously. I just hit mountain time, which is actually 8 o'clock. Uh, just a few miles back, I was at 9 o'clock. Now I'm at 8 o'clock. Anyway, so I pull in here to this little, um, this little, I guess you'd say this little parking area. There's a couple of RVs and a van parked in there. Um, I primarily got off because I wanted to get this uh, trucker off off my off off you know off my bumper. Um, the interstate out here is down to one lane only on one side of the road, and anyway, the whole the whole left hand side of the interstate is completely torn up, just totally torn up. And there's it's nothing it's completely torn up so anyway there's nothing out here I mean it's totally there's nothing so I'm gonna walk back up here to the I mean as you can see there's I-90 and then it says Akoa is half mile north I guess those two RVs parked across the street decided that they did not want to pay Koa prices or maybe there was no availability at the COA. Who knows? Anyway, so I decided to come up here. I think if you go all the way down there to go east, 90, that probably just goes into a dirt road. Anyway, 1880 town, Dakota Territory. So, my luck, I miss it because it is... Um, too late and of course I was down in Murdo you know downtown doing all that stuff down there anyway here you go let's see I'm gonna right here it's getting dark it's like eight o'clock mountain time which means it'll be dark in like oh an hour or less anyway here here it is 1880 town Dakota and then up there all the way to the top wagon that's the top the uh sign there now wind is kind of bad out here anyway i pulled in here and i okay so my video for some reason cut me off i must have hit a button again i don't know what that was about glad I noticed it I noticed my little timer wasn't going anyway so I pull in here and I assume that you know there's a Conoco sign so I assume that Conoco means that it, you know it's a gas station and it's gonna still be open 
Well, okay, here's where you get on the interstate. Well, anyway, so I assume that it's going to be open. Well, no, it's not open. It's closed. And as I was saying, um, well, you didn't hear that part because my video cut me off. Um, I am now at 8 p.m. Mountain Time, so that means that it closed up sometime prior to 8 p.m. Anyway, don't know, didn't look it up. I saw the advertisement down in Murdo for 1880 Town, exit 170. Uh, this was just fluke that I got off at 170. I got off because I wanted the trucker off my uh, tail. I know that, uh, that he, and he probably wanted to move a little faster. Um, it's now into only one lane on the same side of the road on I-90. The rest of the interstate is completely torn all to pieces. The whole road on the other side is totally, um, it's completely torn up. Anyway, so I decided to get out, you know, just do a little bit of, uh, video, walk down this road, do a little bit of video. There's nobody out here except those two RVs. On a van, there's somebody I think in the van, there's a pickup truck, but nobody in that. And where I'm parked, it's right across the street, and it says it's for, I guess, Shell. Well, no, 1880 Town customer parking, it says. Anyway, let's see. Let's go across over here and take a picture of this big rock, which is there we go there you go 18 out 1880 town truck and customer parking some truck left his um okay well i should probably walk on the wait what the heck okay let me see what i can see over here jeep town jeep something anyway walk down this little road down here a little ways um there also looks like there's a lake down through here too so i think i'll get in my car rather than walk it i mean i could walk it but i i won't well <laughs> here's somebody he's getting off probably to go to the koa possibly it says RVs, gas, diesel over here at this place. Well, there's the exit. No trespassing, no parking. Well, they're closed. I don't know what time they actually open or close. I have no idea, but they are definitely closed. Now, I see the RV. He's headed toward uh, down this road, probably toward the Koa. And actually, it's probably very close because it looks like there's the back side of the um, the back side of the RV park. And then, well, here comes another one. He's going to the Koa too. I assume. I don't know. I don't know for sure. That's like I have no clue. Anyway. I want to get in my car and probably drive that way just a little bit just to see what's down there. There's also a lake, and I don't know how far that lake is, but perhaps I can, um, oh gosh, yes, oh yeah, I see the Koa sign all the way down there. There looks like that there's, um, maybe a camp campground here too, but everybody's in the campground and they can't get out. Huh. That's weird. But I see the Koa sign all the way down there, so I think I'll drive down there. And if I can find that lake and it's not too far away, I will... I will uh, go down and find that lake. Maybe grab a couple of pictures, last, last minute, squeak out the last pictures of the day. Okay, I'm going to cross the street and then... That's gonna be it, at least for right here. You can barely see the lake over here, and or whatever, pond, lake, anyway. And there's a bunch of cattle as well over here. And I can't, and I can't get any pictures of 
the cattle. You can see all this. It's gorgeous out here. It's nighttime. It's evening time. Like I said, there's like one RV, two RVs, a van. I wouldn't want to be out here though, because if you gotta go to the bat if you gotta go to the bathroom, there's really not any place to go. Uh, you can see that. Yes, there's the lake. I'm gonna drive down through there a little way, see if I can find it. So I can take a little bit of maybe get a little more little more pictures. So a few more pictures. A few a little more video. Okay, I'll be back with you guys in just a bit. Hi, this is the conclusion of this video. I am in Rapid City, South Dakota at a Love's. I drove farther than I intended. There really wasn't a lot of places to stop. I stopped the one place I was at the last time. I was at a Conoco and it was, I thought it said it was 24 hours online, but I called to verify, and I've been doing that. I've been calling to verify each and every place that I stop. If it's not a pilot loves or, or uh, Flying J, then I call, or Petro, something like that. TA, truck stops I know are 24 hours. I will call and verify that it is indeed a 24-hour store. Now, I think the last night's one, I don't think I called and verified, but... I didn't verify it, but by the time I walked in to get something to eat, it was after midnight, and I knew that that if they were uh, not 24 hours, they would not wait it until after midnight to close. But anyway, so I verified it, and turns out they this particular truck stop, or the last place I was at, which was a truck stop, or it kind of was a truck stop. There were trucks parked in there, big parking lot way big parking lot for trucks but anyway they were not 24 hours i went up the road and i, I kept driving and driving and driving and finally i i think i i finally found the first rest area was even before um the conoco station finally i came to a second rest area and then i didn't get parked and whatever just long story just not a long story i just drove through and and anyway, and at that point, I mapped it and come to find out I was only like 30 miles from Rapid City. I couldn't believe that I ended up having to drive that far, that far to, um, to, um, you know, get, um, a place to, uh, you know, to, to stop. It's late now and I'm kind of, um... I'm tired. It's weird. I thought I saw something flashing on my um, on my uh, dashboard, like the uh, like it was trying to light back up or something. And that's crazy because the key's not in the on position, so I don't know what that's about. Anyway, maybe it could have been a reflection, a reflection back there. I think it was. Anyway, ah, that might have been it. It might have been getting ready. It might have been just a warning that was getting ready to time out. Um. Now, that might have been it. It was already on part of the, the uh, I don't know. Anyway, very tired. Um, like I said, I'm here to Love's and I'm done for the night. Um, I'm, just, I'm, gonna, I'm going to go in the store. I'm going to try to find a little snack. Uh, I don't want to buy another sandwich, but I'm really tired and I may just buy a sandwich. I might not. If I don't see what I want, then I'll just eat a tuna pouch. And some Triscuits. I have some Triscuit crackers and call it a night. Like I said, I'm very tired. I drove a lot farther than I intended. Anyway, um, that said, I'm here. I need to just get something to eat, go to sleep. I'm on mountain time, so it's like 1130, but, you know, I, I'm still operating like I'm on. It's like one, like 115 uh, Eastern time, even, but for me yeah, anyway. So, I'm tired. I'm going to um, end this video now, and I hope everyone has a good week. God bless. Peace. Oh, there is one thing more that I did want to add to this to this video. Uh, as I said in the beginning of the video, I'm headed to Julesburg, Colorado. I kind of changed my plans up ag yet again a little bit. Um... I, like I said, I am now in Rapid City, South Dakota, 
and I'm right here at the Black Hills, so I'm going to probably tomorrow I'll explore the Black Hills. Um, also, um, and then the next stop will be the Badlands National Park. I'm here, I might as well. So, so anyway, changing my itinerary a little bit. Next is going to be uh, Black Hills and then the Badlands National Park. And then after that, I can uh, take the uh, exit that will take me to South Dakota 79. Ultimately, I am going to end up going back to Shadron, Nebraska, whether I want to or not. That is, I'm going to end up going back there. But it will, the, the heat wave has finally broken, so I will, it, it's going to be hot. It's still going to be in the 90s. But it won't be as bad for about for about the next week. It's going to be like maybe 90. And then it goes back up to 95 and starts getting hotter. Now, 95 wasn't, didn't bother me too badly. But, and then it looks like it's going to start easing back up the, um, the heat scale again. And by then, I should be done with the Gold Rush Byway. Because the Gold Rush Byway is only 131 miles. And I will have one stop which will be in Alliance. So basically I will hit the, um, I think I have to drive the, I'll, I'll end up having to drive the, the Bridges to Buttes Byway again a little bit to get to Shadron. And then I'm going to pick up, uh, which is on the Bridges to Buttes Byway. And then I will pick up uh, 385, which is the Gold Rush Byway. And then drive that to Sydney. And then from Sydney, will then I'll make it on to Deadwood, South Dakota, Wild Bill Hickok, and then from there, the Native American Scenic Byway, Fort Yates, and Sitting Bulls Monument and Gravesite, and then after that, I'm guessing back, back to Minnesota, now, or to Minnesota, rather, Provided I don't find some other stuff to do, this wasn't. This was kind of off the beaten trail, off the beaten path for me. I was. I was intending. My intent today was to go to Colorado, pick up the Gold Rush Byway. On, of course, it it connects to the. You know, it goes from. Well, anyway, it connects to the Colorado state line. Anyway, that was my intent, but I knew I wouldn't make it. I got a late start, and then. I had to drive out of the way to find a place to stop. Now I'm in the Black Hills, so tomorrow it's going to be Explore the Black Hills, Badland Nas Badlands National Park, then the Gold Rush Byway, then Deadwood, South Dakota, Fort Yates, and North Dakota, and Sitting Bull's Gravesite. So those are like the next five, six things, like kind of right in a row. Um, no matter what, I end up having to go back to Shadron. So, but but I just didn't want to like yesterday. I didn't want to be there last night. So, anyways, but this is going to be interesting. Now, I had the opportunity when I went to the Shenandoah National Park to buy myself a a pass, an eighty dollar pass, and I didn't do it because I was like, there's not anything on the East Coast really except the Shenandoah. And I'm not going to need it. Well, now I'm going to the Badlands National Park. I'm like, oh, I should have done that. But anyway, I paid $30 at Shenandoah. And then I realized, wait, well, because I was going to go in the Pioneer uh, place, you know, and do, uh, you know, do, pay the $13 and do that, which I may still do because there's a couple more things after, you know, after Badlands it's not going to be that much further down to 1880 town, and that looks interesting. I don't know what the price is of that, but I know the Pioneer Auto Place is, um, I know it's uh, 13 bucks. So anyway, I got a few things I want to do, but of course the byways are going to be free, and those, the uh, uh, Badlands of course won't be, it'll be $30 probably or something, but anyway... Anyway, that said, I got to get off of here now. God bless. Peace.